Hi, so it's Saturday afternoon. I've got my cup of tea and I'm getting ready to do some painting with Twickenham Art Circle. So today is Prince Philip's funeral. So we're going to have a, a bit of a break um, until after the funeral. So it's a beautiful sunny day. I've been out already this morning and I am going to do some watercolour castles. So, um, yeah, Windsor Castle was an idea, but we were going to try and do some imaginary castles. So I'm going to work on a kind of illustration in that ilk. <laughs> Okay, so I'm ready to start. I have my watercolour sheet here and it is a Cassart 300 GSM paper and uh, watercolour paper, paper acid free and cold pressed. So it does have a slight texture to it. And I have my Windsor & Newton watercolours got two sets on the go at the moment and um, I'm going to be using a selection of brushes that I will use to make a background and I think I shall work on it this way round so portrait so portrait and I'm going to um, create a wash on the background first and then use pencils and pens to create the lovely castle. So I want quite a broad brush to start with and ideally I want to be taping this down onto the back here. So I'm just going to get some tape. So I'm thinking I shall do a background that has clouds, so a fantasy sky. And maybe I'll have a flying pegasus or something, unicorn, whatever. Right, so I'm going to put some music on and um, get started. to the left. edges so that that doesn't get smudged anywhere when the uh, rest of the painting becomes a bit drier but just to get rid of the blocks there so as you can see I've got a bit of a fantasy sky going on and I shall just continue to add to that I think I'll probably add some darkness in the clouds again and there's a bit of a gap here so I'll try and encourage the paint to go in there, otherwise we get a cauliflower, which could work. So all I'm doing is tilting the page, as you can see, and allowing the watercolour to merge. Got a little gap there. Oops. 
and then here this is when you start to get the cauliflower effect so I'm just going to get rid of that because I don't really want that there and I shall now I think I'm just going to use the small palette so I'm going to darken these clouds slightly Colour dries a lot lighter, um, so that's another thing to bear in mind. allowed it to dry a touch and um, I'm not too happy with these clouds here but I'll sort that out a bit later. I did have an idea that I might use um, collage but right at this moment I've got my ink tents pencils out so I'm going to use them to create the outline of the and maybe a mountain and then a castle at the top of the mountain and um, see how it goes from there so it could be pretty spooky looking okay so I'm just going to go in freehand and make it up as I go along
battery's getting a bit low, so I'm going to just bring this foreground forward. I think we need a bit of greenery down there. Okay, so I've worked a little bit more on my painting and I've removed the salt already. Um, actually, there's a little bit left on the castle, so just flip that away. Wasn't that successful. And I thought you'd want to see the peeling, the grand peeling, because that's always very satisfying to see. So I'm pulling it down and out away from the painting. This is just normal sellotape and I didn't um, make it less sticky. So we're getting a nice neat line here. And it did pull a little bit on the paper there. But it um, hasn't affected the painting. And the background is some sticky back plastic. <laughs> on a um, piece of card. I'm laughing because if you're of a certain era, you will know that's a very familiar term from Blue Peter days. Okay, so again, just pulling away from the painting, just gently so that that edge remains crisp and doesn't pull on the paper. rid of the rest of the salt because I don't think it's really going to absorb much more and I did just dab here to get some texture so that's my fantasy castle anyway it was good fun to do Okay, so that's it for now and I'm going to go off now and get my hair done. It's been a long time since I've been to the hairdressers. So yeah, it's been a while. It's been two and a half years, something like that. So uh, I'm going to get a good few inches off I think and give it a bit of vitality. Yes, yeah, so thank you for watching to the end. Uh, do come back, do subscribe, click the little bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video and you won't miss anything. And you could also sign up to my newsletters. So I'll leave links below in the description. But thank you very much for watching. If you got this far, see if you can find a little castle icon to leave below. Okay. Bye for now.